I wonder what twists and turns lay in store over the next month. And with the Netherlands and Senegal, the champions of Africa also in the group, there's an added pressure to get off to a good start here. Saad al Sheed gets the nod to starting goal for Qatar ahead of Meshal Basham. The back line includes Abdel Karim Hassan, the former Asian Footballer of the Year, in a three-man central defence. Hassan al Haidos captain the side to Asian Cup success three years ago and leads the team again today. In attack, the creativity of Akram Hafif and the nation's joint record goalscorer, al Moez Ali, will be key to their hopes. Sato from Italy has the honour of taking charge of this opening game. He was on VAR duty in Russia four years ago. He also oversaw the Champions League final between Bayern and PSG a couple of years ago. The officials in the VAR hub are led by Massimiliano Irati. Hassan El Hados there, the captain of Qatar, is ready and waiting to complete the formalities. He's waiting for Ena Valencia from Ecuador. Valencia is the only player of the 22 on the field who's previously played in the World Cup. Let's look at Ecuador's team now. Hernan Galindez starts in goal in preference to Alexander Dominguez. The highly regarded 20-year-old Piero Hincapié of Bayer Leverkusen features at the back with Purvis Estupiñan, who's in the Premier League with Brighton. His club mate Moises Caicedo is the heartbeat of the team. Jackson Mendes is in for Carlos Grueso, who picked up an injury last week, while Ena Valencia is both the captain and the nation's record goal scorer. It's been a long journey for Felix Sanchez with these players, many of whom he's coached for many years since their youth. They've come through the system together. Gustavo Alfaro, whose Ecuador side have only lost one of their last 15 matches. They haven't conceded a goal for 10 hours and six minutes of play. Well, it's a moment of truth for these players, particularly for those of, of Qatar who all play in their domestic league. The big stage for the first time. All the pressure that comes with being the hosts as well. underway we're just seconds away from the FIFA World Cup away we go the first match of 64 to determine the champions of the world Qatar in the maroon against the all yellow of Ecuador slightly premature start of course this game wasn't meant to be played until tomorrow but I think he's quite right that the hosts start the tournament off. Absolutely, and uh, they'll be hoping not to become the first hosts or co-hosts of the World Cup to lose their opening match. 21 such previous occasions have resulted in 16 wins and 6 draws. I think it really is actually how they approach this game. And I think their best players at the top end of the pitch. But Felix Sanchez is said that he wants his team to be difficult to beat and I think you can probably see them play a back five at times yeah they should be well coached Sanchez has been with them for a long long time he's been working in Qatar since 2006 when he went to the uh, Aspire Academy and as well we shouldn't forget Matt that most of the Qatari players play for the same club side Al Saad and until this time last year 
that side was coached by Javi, of course, who's now at Barcelona. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Look, half of the squad come from that club. That's a strong challenge in midfield. First touch of the ball here for Pervis Estupinian, but uh, referee Orsato bringing it back. First stoppage for the challenge. A uh, couple of strong challenges, Pedro and Miguel, on this occasion. And it's on uh, Moises Caicedo as well, who really is the, the heartbeat of this Ecuadorian side. Yeah, the manager, Gustavo Alfaro, has said that he's got the potential to be world class. Yeah, he's got a new partner alongside him in the heart of their midfield today, Jackson Mendes, who plays for uh, Los Angeles in uh, MLS, because uh, Carlos Grueso, who uh, plays his football in Germany, picked up a knock last week. He's quite a key player for them, isn't he? Does a lot of the hard work in midfield. Yeah, that's a miss. Correzo. Mendes is a defensive midfielder, though, so that'll still allow Caicedo to get forward. So Ecuador with Estupinian sending it into the penalty area, and Alcide coming out and not getting hold of the ball, and it's into the middle. 